So today we're going to look at designing a pair of orthoses for a patient with arthrogryposis. Now for those of you unfamiliar with this condition, it's a congenital condition which causes contracture across multiple joints. Uh, in this variant, uh, what we have is a lot of distal contracture. So if we look at the digital position of the fingers, uh, the significant retraction there, um, obviously relevant to us. If we look at the uh, foot and the ankle, we have a significant degree of equinus at uh, the, especially the right ankle, but also the left as well as some forefoot equinus. And on the left foot, um, which we can see very clearly here, there's a significant degree of uh, hallux plantar flexion uh, to the extent that the first metatarsal joint is not able to actually ground contact. And as we can see here on the right, the significant degree of equinus, it means that the heel isn't even able to achieve ground contact either. Uh, if we look at the difficulties this is causing the patient, aside from the gait abnormalities, we're getting a significant degree of callosities on the under the sort of fourth and fifth metatarsal areas, and uh, we're also getting difficulties around the uh, left hallux and around where the nail is contacting the ground. So we've taken a, a non-weight bearing scan of the foot. We actually took a foam cast as well for comparison, uh, but because of the degree of uh, fixation and osteoarthritic change within the foot, there was very little difference between the two. Okay, so now if we uh, think about trying to design an orthosis for that, uh, bring in the scans to the software. and just check the sort of marker position that the software has picked up. Now we don't have to import a scan uh, image in this case because it's fairly clear where we need to offload particular areas, especially under the left hallux. Uh, so we can start designing the orthoses. Uh, so the first thing straight away uh, that we're gonna look at doing is the type of orthoses will bring in to match okay and uh, you can see the scan position uh, needs to be aligned a little bit to that uh, so if we go into the position tab so by the time we bring the heel cup up a little bit higher uh, we just need to slide that back very slightly If we look at the rotation, it's not too bad. Uh, now, if we look along the length of the orthoses, the heel is relatively inverted in this case, uh, which is not the case in weight bearing. So we want to bring that back up. Just roughly to vertical. Now, if we look at the forefoot to rear foot relationship, I know that in weight bearing, while the hallux is still plantar flexed, the forefoot can get to the ground slightly more than that. So just in terms of the conformity we're able, uh, what we can do is just rotate that back in a little bit. Then we look at the whole relationship of the scan and you see we're sitting a little bit low now so we'll just bring that back up so we're sitting on top of the orthoses you can see we've still got this area under here that we're going to need to bring the orthoses up to Good. Okay, now size wise, we can see that it's a little bit too short. And also I know the dimensions that we need to work to in terms of fitting the footwear. Uh, so we're gonna go slightly longer in terms of the length. Uh, that can obviously be trimmed slightly. Uh, the forefoot width is just a little bit wide as well. Uh, heel width is actually about spot on for, for the footwear width that we're fitting to. 
uh, and you can see by the time we bring the the heel up as well uh, it's not too bad there either okay let's look at the art shape now we can look a little bit later on at the uh, four foot posting uh, what we're just going to do now is extend the length to the first met so we're just taking up some of that and gaining a nice shape through here so we're almost using that a little bit as a four foot post through this area to bring the ground up to the foot uh, so we want a nice conformity through there okay the arch apex is actually looking pretty good on this and if we look at the lateral side we'll just bring that back very slightly So now we can look at the arch height. Again, we, we want a really close conformity right up to the top of the arch. So if we look at bringing this up very slightly, but now, so the arch height is, is looking good, but if we look through the uh, center of the device you can see the orthoses is much higher through the midfoot than the foot itself now we're dealing with a foot with very little compliance uh, it's a very stiff foot uh, there's a lot of osteoarthritic change through the midfoot uh, so we're going to look to actually bring in a little bit of better conformity now the first thing we can do is use one of the auto fitting options uh, so if we go through for a full foot you see right the way through the scan now there's a much more even distribution uh, what we can start to do a little bit further is actually analyze particular sections now I know that we want to offload the fifth metatarsal area uh, so this whole area here is looking a little bit high to me so we can bring that all down through here and around this area too and you can see the automatic change as I adjust this we're bringing the orthoses down here now we don't want to bring it down uh, too thin So if we just pick those couple of areas, uh, maybe one further back here. So again, if we look at the adjustment now, we'll come back and look at the effect of smoothing on that in a minute. We'll just double check the arch. So again, it's looking a little bit high through here. So while we've got the section at this point, we might as well just take that down a little bit through there and we can bring it up so we'll then pick another section slightly further back here and finally this area see what that looks like without the foot there now it's not bad but it's still a little bit bulging at the top here so we'll just take one more section through here and there we are there's a culprit so we'll just lower this down a little bit now we'll apply a little bit of smoothing so if we apply that a couple of times and then come back to our edits that we did where we took two or three edits and it was a a little bit lumpy you can see that's now beautifully smooth through there and if we look at the arch profile again where we took two or three edits that's now smoothed all out and a much more even arch profile through there so if we bring the foot back in we 
we can now look at doing some of the adjustments we want to do. Now we want a little bit more of a heel cup in this case. So we'll bring that up. Now not really high because we're also going to be adding a little bit of heel pitch and otherwise we won't be getting in the back of a normal shoe. Good, so in this case, I'm quite happy we've achieved the, the arch conformity that we want and the heel adjustment at the back. What we now want to do is look at offloading a couple of particular areas. So the main issues we have in terms of high pressure areas causing callosities are around here under the hallux. So what we're gonna do is add in a little pad just in this area here. Um, and then also a pad in the central area, so we're taking some of the pressure away from the fifth metatarsal. So if we go into our surface modifications, uh, we can see how the foot's sitting with the orthoses. And we're actually going to use a cuboid notch because it's actually quite a convenient shape for this. Uh, but we want it on the other side of the foot, so we're going to flip that around and bring that over. Uh, we'll just shrink it a little bit more than the standard and we're just going to nestle that in between the first metatarsal and the distal phalanx. Okay, so we also want a metatarsal pad, uh, so we're going to bring that in, we're just going to adjust the height on our cuboid pad. And we'll just move that around a little bit. Again, so we want to take the pressure away from, from this area. So we want to spread it into the middle a little bit more there. So let's prescribe those and we'll see what they look like. So we just take the foot away for a moment. You can see our pads have been added on here. If we bring the foot back in, we can just see the relationship. So we see we've got this pad here sitting nicely in between the MTP and the phalanx and filling in some of this gap here. And lastly we can just add on a little bit of forefoot posting. Good, so now we have our finished orthoses on the left, so we can save that. Now we want something very similar on the right, so we can copy that straight across. So if we look at our completed orthoses, so we've milled them out of polyurethane with a one mil EVA cover just to stop the polyurethane degrading. And if we put those into the shoe and uh, we get a look at walking again, you can see a massive improvement 